This week we are in New Mexico where we have found another crazy sport, mud volleyball. They have taken volleyball, a sport you have heard of, a sport you have probably played, and they have combined that with mud. But how can we make it even better? Oh, let's have everyone drinking all day. <laughs> so it's an outdoor mud volleyball party, 78 simultaneous mud volleyball games going on right now. We're gonna learn about the athletes, the mud itself. I am hoping more than anything that you've never heard of this because that's what we do. You clearly are using the mud all over your skin. Does it have any sort of benefits we should tell people Oh about? yeah, there's some uh, detoxification. I'm getting exfoliated, no doubt. What is your role in all this? Um, I'm the executive director of Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation. Why do you guys do this event? We do this event, one, because look at it. It's amazing and people have a wonderful time. Um, but really the biggest reason is because we raise over $500,000 a year for the kids of Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation. You just said a half a million dollars? Absolutely. In the lifetime of this event, we've raised over $9 million. How many people are participating right now? Um, we have um, about 7,000 people out here today. Do we know the origin is? How did this start where one day they said, hey, I have a great way to raise money. Let's play volleyball in the mud. That's basically it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, thanks. What body type fits mud volleyball? Mucho gordo, baby. <laughs> Borracho perdido. Will will we see some of that today? We'll see a lot of borrachos and a lot of borrachas today, okay? It's so hard. What, now, what are the challenges to playing in the mud? When your shoes are like slick on the bottom, you like slip inside the mud, and then there's like holes, and you fall into the hole, and you just. What did you do going into this to prepare for the huge the huge event? Okay. <laughs> so I, I see everyone doing that. What is that? Is that to, an attempt to keep the mud out? No, to keep your shoe from not falling off. Oh, from getting, oh but they getting they get, all stuck they get in there. stuck in there. We watch you guys just trying to negotiate through the mud. What's the secret to being able to move in that stuff? There's no gotta, secret. <laughs> you got to have cat-like reflexes. Yeah, just to, and you kind of pick your spot and plant there, right? Yeah. I see some modifications here. Is this some special eyewear for the mud volleyball? Well, so I, I got I wear contacts, right. and my a boss she was like, if you wear contacts, you take them out or go blind. And I was like, I'm wearing goggles. What is this mud like? Is it deep? Is it? So is it it's thick? a lot of water, and then there's mud up under it. Yeah. And so some of it is actually murky. It's muddy, so you can get stuck. The water smells a little funky. I smell a little... A little funky, but I mean, you get over it. <laughs> Here's my problem with this. Right. You're about to play, you don't even seem fired up. Oh, we're fired up. Notorious. What are you going to do to the other team? Hey, we're going to spike them. that shit, yep. <laughs> honestly, it's like, if you're going to trash talk, that's okay. That honestly motivates the fuck out of me. So, you know, keep talking, because that, that gives me fucking energy to just spike it. These guys all act like it's competitive. This is a giant party. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is also... A drinking event, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there was strawberries, so that's like breakfast. This mud has some some strange uh, properties to it. Like, look at what color it dries on you. Oh yeah, it's white, you're almost, bro. You're almost green. It's straight from the real Grand. I mean, it's the same type of mud. Just negotiating the mud is the hard part. Like, you can take the best athlete in the world and now try to walk in the mud. You it's can't. Equalize. You can't. The best opportunity is be drunk and try to keep up with the balance. Combining sports with just some little extra element, and then also alcohol, just makes, this is glorious. We do actually have a strategy. You find the person that is the most drunk on that side, and that's who you serve it to. What mistakes are you seeing that people are making? Oh, communication. Communication? <laughs> it's because we're all drinking. What beverage goes best with mud volleyball? Beer! Alcohol! Everything! A lot of whiskey and a lot of tequila, baby. What do you say to me? I'm on your team and I just totally fucked up. What do you say it's to me? It's like, okay, you messed up, so like, I gotta make up for that shit. I'll make up for it if I can. But you'll give me shit later, right? After the court? Honestly, like, yes. <laughs> I'll be like, you know what? We're, we're gonna get together tomorrow and just work on your fucking serves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Good luck. Can we ask you? A, I, I am a journalist, my friends, and I see that that says mud slut. Can I please have a definition of a mud slut for everyone at home? Um, we're winners. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. We're winners. Yeah. Mud sluts are winners. I mean, mud right. sluts are sluts in the mud, so. Oh, boy. she's so, a little drunk. So oh, you yeah, take I the am. slut and then you, you, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I am. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll step back. I'll step back. Does it help or hurt your mud volleyball game with a little alcohol? Um, we've won every game, so I'm gonna say if you're not cheating, you're not trying. People are gonna see this and they're gonna say, "Thank you, Art. I'm going to mud volleyball next year." Let's give them a list of what they need to bring with them. Essential okay. items. First of all, uh, what you need tape. to bring is duct tape. You need to bring water. You need to bring um, vodka. vodka. Bring vodka. Probably to put in your water bottle. You bring and that. then um, I wanna say like. If you go back, hey, don't judge me. I love you. I love you. So but you're a little bit drunk. Thank you for your time. You guys are so entertaining. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Are we going to do a little dive here real quick for, so we can get some cool action? Uh, belly flop. Full, belly flop. Full, full belly flop. Yes, All right. Everybody, hold up for a second. Full belly flop. <laughs> How would you? Let's go to the replay. How would you rate that belly flop? Oh, 10. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> what you have to do is move the mud a little bit till you find the hard ground. <laughs> what is the reason that you are not playing, though? Like, why are you not on the team? Because I don't like to pull mud out of my butt crack for a week. Hey, did you guys just play? Yeah. Did you win? Yeah, of course we did. All right, give me a list of priorities today, okay? America, volleyball, alcohol. Put them in order of importance. You just said. Go, America! There are these areas, these tent areas, where each team can kind of set up a headquarters and put all their supplies, all the whatever athletes need during a competition. What's up? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hey, don't get them dirty. It's all good. Dirty. What's, What's up, good? Art? What's up, Art? What do you have under your tent right there? Like, what okay. are the essentials? Well, we have oh, snacks, beef food, jerky. beer, beef jerky, Spiked, uh, strawberries, chips. grapes, cantaloupe, and oranges. We're going into the tent. Is all the fruit uh, spiked? Yes. <laughs> Come here, Crystal. She, uh, Hello, she Crystal. Hi. All our fruit is pre soaked in a variety of Vodkas. Just tastes like a wonderful strawberry. This, this is how you this is how you end up naked and covered in mud. Why are you guys not all eating these? Oh, we are. <laughs> oh wow. So the oranges are injected with the mango pineapple vodka. Do you do this at home? Yes. Are you a nurse or something? Yes. No, no. <laughs> so how much vodka will you put in each orange? Two syringes, so 20 cc's. <laughs> oh, but you're not a nurse. <laughs> Over there in that tent, the $1,200 tent, they were feeding us all the booze. They said the only way to do it is the $1,200 tent. Well, this is the whole row of the $100 tents, and I'm here to tell you maybe you don't have to spend the $1,200 because this is also a party. $500,000 a year they raise for charity. Oh, they do amazing. Plus, we get to get drunk, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think mud is probably good for you. It's probably some sort of, it's doing something I'm nice. hoping it's like Dead Sea mud for them or something, yeah. that they're going to get glowing complexions afterwards. I can tell you what, and yeah. I, there is some alcohol here, so I don't know if it's that or the mud, yeah. but it certainly is making people happy. It's probably a mix of both. <laughs> it's it's probably a mix. What is this procedure that's going on? <laughs> it's just oh for my fun. God. I feel like I should call the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We had floaties, but they said that we couldn't do that anymore. So I got one. They're wrong, but we had booties. This is actually a pretty epic day of mud volleyball. <laughs> Strong work. I learned a lot. Cause it's really hard to move. And that whole jumping thing that's normally in volleyball, you don't do that here. It's not like my mom, yeah, you did fine, son. <laughs> so if my team wins, what do I get? You are gonna get um, a free team next year. Um, you're gonna get an amazing um, handmade trophy that was done by another one of our sponsors. Um, and, and you're you, gonna get bragging rights. I was gonna say, you will walk differently for 12 months. Totally. I like to work out in these conferences because they, they kind of been a little bit worn out. Did you drink and do any athletic activities today? <laughs> Um, yeah, we try to... No, that's good. <laughs> we try to go to the tents because they, they sell alcohol at the tents. Do you find that maybe your dexterity how, is, is how lessened? Your game? Yeah. Our dexterity definitely gets affected. <laughs> Real life Mario Kart racing. It's a thing. And it's awesome. Oh, rub it! Oh, oh, yes! That was beautiful! Let's go to the replay and look at that finish! What a tight race! There's the sunglasses, definitely. All right, thanks, Chevy. 3.1 Hemi, baby. 
Go, you're gonna say about winning, man. Act like you've been here before. Oh, yeah. Psh, come on, bro. It's too easy. It's, it's, it's normal. It's normal. You know that was beautiful. That was, <laughs> that was beautiful. Did you guys win? What happened? You lost? Not quite. I was also just, I was also just on a team and I lost. But I can tell you what went wrong. Uh, alcohol. <laughs> Us too! Okay, I'm gonna give my official review of this thing. So first of all, don't come here to watch. No. This is not one of those events. No. Get a bunch of friends together yes. and bring a team. Yes. We brought you a sport that hopefully you didn't know existed, mud volleyball. And we showed you the biggest mud volleyball event of its kind. I haven't stopped smiling all day. This event is fantastic.